that went actually pretty good. No, I didn't go to a job interview. Um, it was actually a business meeting. I am so sorry, but I got another fidget spinner. These things were just so fun that even after I smashed the last one, I was like, oh, I, could, I should totally get another one because I actually really enjoyed playing around with it. I'm probably gonna smash this one again later. Okay, it was a business meeting and one of my friends wants to sign me up as a partner for this business he's starting. And since I'm a digital expert of all this digital advertising and SEO and all this fun guru stuff, he wanted a partner with me. It was a fun, it's a really, really fun project that I think Las Vegas needs, but the positive cash flow was not there at the time he wrote his plan, so I turned him down. But back to today's topic. I turned on the TV yesterday and the news stories that were c going on is just crazy ridiculous. A guy breaks into a sex store, steals all of their condoms and sex toys, $40,000 worth of it, and runs away. Okay, why did I need to know that? Why? And then the next story is about somebody murdering somebody else. And then the next story is about some homeless person getting beat up in the streets. I'm l and then I, I was like, okay, so this is like something I didn't really want to hear about. And then that's better. And then like a bunch of really sad stories followed after it. So I was like, okay, okay, that's, I'm not ever gonna flip to the news channel anymore. And then this morning I turn on the TV and heck, it's already on the news channel. And more depressing stuff about bombs being exploded in all kinds of different places all around the world and who's murdering who and how we're testing missiles to defend ourselves from North Korea's ICBMs. And you know, that's, that's, that's fine and all that it's being reported, but I feel like it's always being marketed like straight to us. And that's what people get glued to the TV by is terrorism and horror and murders and car chases. There is a lot of good stuff that happens in this world. So many people donate to other places. There's there's so many charity fundraisers going around, so many community events that we don't hear about because nobody really wants to hear about it on the TV. When you turn on the TV, you want to see something exciting. Whenever an act of terrorism happens, there is this whole thing of after the 24 hours after the incident, the ratings of the news channels skyward up incredibly because everybody's watching the news to see what's what's happening, who did what, who is the owner of that, what was the reason for the act of terrorism. And so the news channels go ahead and even report on that stuff, even when there's kind of nothing to report on it anymore and they kind of just start saying the same thing over and over again. The problem is we like that stuff. And I never thought I would go into politics, but when Trump was running into office and everybody was like watching the news whenever he would do something ridiculous and the news channels would start feeding us stuff like that because we wanted to watch it more, it became this inevitable loop of just bad content, mindless content that seems like a waste of time to watch. But the point is, since we like watching the, those depressing news, our view of the world starts to look depressing because every time you turn on the news, every time you go on Facebook, you see something horrible happening somewhere in the world. And when I came to the realization of this and I stopped watching the news, I started really keeping eye on like how amazing and beautiful the world is and how many wonderful things are happening. And I told my friend this theory that of not watching the news actually makes you a happier person because you are no longer surrounded by the depressing things that are going around. You don't hear about them. And that was my friend's fear is, he, the first thing when he wakes up is he turns on the news or he goes on like news uh, slash Reddit, Reddit slash news, and he reads through just to catch up on real world events. And he said he's afraid of not being in the loop. I personally don't even worry about not being in the loop by not watching news because if anything crazy ever happened in this world, you will know. 
Somebody will text you like when Michael Jackson's death happened. I got like three texts about it and my friends gave me a call and it was all over like social media whenever you turn something up. Even the acts of terrorism that are the big ones, you will hear about them eventually because somebody is going to tell you and if they don't and it's if they don't tell you it's because it doesn't affect you. And if it's out of sight and it's out of mind, you've got a clear head and you can focus on the most important things in your life, which is yourself, your health, your family, your friends. And you can focus more on doing positive things back to community rather than the world is a crappy place and I've got no reason to keep helping it just because every time you turn on the news, you see it's going down in the horrible direction. It's not, it's just that the horrible things get 15 times more attention than the good things that happen in this world. That was a quick little video on why Tony Sticks does not watch the news. And until then, may you have a news-free, clear-headed day. <laughs>